Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3 is so awesome and we have a bunch of hidden secrets that you definitely missed including new weapons, a free skin now available and much much more so let's get into it. I'm still gifting 5 subscribers every day any cosmetic they want from the Fortnite item shop. So if you want a gift, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe with all notifications and leave a comment with your epic ID down below. And a huge thanks to everyone using my supporter creator code BR4, it does mean a lot, hashtag ad. Starting off soon, we will be getting a season 3 volcano POI. As in the battle pass, there's a few volcano references as the Molten Max Axe looks volcano themed and its description says Volcanic Rock Wrecker. Not to mention an emoticon of a literal volcano as you guys can see right here and this volcano themed contrail which is really really cool and we know there's some files related to Zero Lava somehow tied to the petrified zero point so be on the lookout for the new volcano poy in a new update very soon next up we have the upcoming chain launcher weapon releasing shortly and here is gameplay of this weapon and it seems like it's only useful with vehicles as of now but it's still unfinished so maybe fortnite has other purposes for it as well the upcoming chains launcher uses lego chain links for some reason they might already be working on custom items for their upcoming collab as fortnite and lego has been confirmed for some time now which also means epic is working on something in uefn that has to do with lego bricks including having a full brick database for unreal engine this work is being done on the juno test servers and my personal theory is that this will be a lego island which will be really really cool moving on we have the new llamas that was spotted in the fortnite wilds trailer that will be around the fortnite map soon which will be blue red and gold which means it should change rarity as the game you're in goes on which i'm super excited for but as you guys know transformers arrived as a collab this season as of course we got optimus prime as the tier 100 outfit inside the battle pass and this skin is absolutely nuts and here is his actual built-in emote but there is a potential emote that could get added in for him or swapped about as ferals made a really cool concept of a built-in emote which is even better than the original which is for the actual skin itself going into his truck form and then obviously it would change back when you repeat it to the skin never say never this idea could come to life very soon but on the topic of transformers we do know that bumblebee is like the most popular transformer within all of the movies so he will be getting his very own skin this season and there is also transformers challenges out right now to earn a free spray as well as a free emoticon and we have more challenges releasing over the next few days so bumblebee may even be a free skin you can get for doing these challenges that may be currently encrypted but if not he will be sure to release inside of the item shop just like optimus primal and maybe alongside another transformer like megatron which would be sick to see quad crashes will likely be unvaulted soon as epic added several new files for them to spawn on the map so it's good that fortnite are adding another movement mechanic for season three and i do miss these bad boys also the new mk alpha assault rifle will be added to battle royale in a future update which is pretty much the exact same as the mk7 assault rifle but it won't be as overpowered as they have changed the stats for it and the recoil to nerf it which is kind of rubbish but it is the exact same design and all that good stuff as well the grapple glove might be returning in the near future due to loot pools being updated to support npcs selling grapple gloves again which does match the jungle theme for this season so it does make a lot of sense as they were originally added for the indiana jones collaboration next up guys based on the in-game fortnite wilds battle pass countdown 
The secret skin for this battle pass, the Paradise Meow Schools outfit, is currently set to release on July 6th, just in time for the return of 14 Days of Summer with all of his cosmetics and the challenges will get leaked before they come out and normally these are super simple to complete so be on the lookout for that but as 14 days of summer is returning we will get a bunch of new free rewards just like last events over the years with brand new quests to complete and this time around it is going to work ever so slightly different with the fact that it will be a battle pass event just like the recent star wars battle pass where we had a free page full of cosmetics you can unlock through quests as well as a paid version and the free skin this year for the 14 days of summer will actually be the underwriter which looks like this up on screen so it is definitely a really cool free skin but also Fortnite are working on shoulder swapping for the upcoming first person mode and maybe it could come to third person too if they go on with it which means first person is definitely going to be arriving this season as it's getting updated a lot recently in the falls and honestly this is going to revive fortnite and make the game a lot more popular not only that weapon charms will release with this first person mode which you will be able to pick up from the item shop so be sure to let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see first person and weapon charms arrive into fortnite as well weapon attachments will be arriving this season as weapon attachments have been updated after over two years to add support for attachments that modify weapons recoil vehicle attachments have also been updated to detect if a passenger is operating turret so this could be fortnite's next big update after first person and tim sweeney said on cypher pk stream that they're still working on it but they're trying to make it as perfect or as smooth as possible so it will definitely be worth the wait when it actually does release and these attachments will come in all forms such as a muzzle a barrel a stock as well as a optic also a grip and finally sights like a thermal scope and these will most likely be available from using your gold from an upgrade bench so i'm really excited for weapon attachments but time to wrap up today's video as that's all i have for you guys hopefully you did enjoy remember to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on for more videos like these also watch the next video that will pop up on screen and i'll catch you all later peace